Uncle Ann here and Papa. He's over there. I don't know if I'm getting him. I had to get up early this morning because I needed to go to the store. I need to get some groceries. need to get some ice. And I needed to do it before it starts heating up. So I haven't even had my coffee yet. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to get home. I got the dehydrator going again. At the store I bought these mushrooms. And that is my first cherry tomato I harvested yesterday. I started it yesterday like evening when there was about maybe one hour of sun left and it de dehydrated down pretty well. I brought it inside so I'm going to get the rest done today. What these are are just little uh, plant trays and I've stacked them with these little things and uh, the little clips. See that? I've just kind of clipped them on top of one another. I poked a bunch of holes in both of them. I actually have two more that I could stack up and I'm just going to do this much today. And then I just threw some down in the bottom just to see if they dehydrate down on the bottom of there. It's really clean. So, um, yeah, I can just lift this up and switch out, you know, alternate the shelves. And uh, just got this started. So we'll see how long this takes and whether or not this can be done in one day. And now I get to have my coffee. It's not even 10 a.m. and I've gotten all that stuff done. I mean, I... Before I even went to the store, before I even had coffee, I did all, all the tours and I wanted to get those mushrooms out there dehydrating um, right away. So I had to do that first. I got a lot more to do today. Uh, I took the baby chicks out yesterday and made a little yard for them. So I'm going to take them back out again today. And I got to water the plants, but I am essentially out of water. So I'm going to empty the last from the big IBC tote. And uh, I don't think that's going to be enough to water all my plants. So Mr. Lucas said I could come over and get some water from him. I hate asking to do that, but I may have to do it because we're not going to be getting any rain for any time soon. I've got plenty of drinking water because I've been getting ice. But um, everything is fruiting. i got to show you. i got to show you what is growing in my garden. I've got them out in their little yard. Yeah, they're clamoring towards the shade. So what I'm going to do in a second here, I'm going to take that little um, shower curtain and give them some shade because it actually gets pretty hot out here. Um, <laughs> they're happy to be here. I just capture them in a net. Yesterday, all I had was that one big piece. It was just like a circle, but I added this one to it. And if you remember, my old neighbor Ann gave me this metal. And it makes a nice little yard, and I've just covered it with this stuff. Put a couple perches in there, got some food out for them. So yeah, we'll be watching these pretty babies a little bit later. There we go. Much better. Much, much better. Yeah, they played out all day yesterday in a smaller pen. They got plenty of room today. They just love being out here. This has been going for an hour and no bugs in it. Hooray, it's just too hot. And things are dehydrating. I switched the trays out. The, the uh, tomatoes are almost done. Uh, these got quite a ways left to go, but they, oh, they're dehydrating nicely. They really are. Yep, zoom and zoom is still zooming. I'm crazy chicken. Yep, that's big enough. There's two more coming on this plant. Hopefully they won't abort because it's just been so hot lately. Haven't been able to water as much, but I'm going to get me that one. There's like three or four coming on this one, but they're too small. So I'm just going to let them go for a little bit. I am getting blooms on the sweet bell peppers, so that's good. Oh, and I'm getting some on the, oh yeah, yeah, I'm getting some on the uh, jumbo jalapeno peppers. Um, not the cayenne yet, but they're finally growing above and beyond the squash. Look at those huge cherry tomatoes, almost ripened. None of the big tomatoes have uh, ripened yet, but... They will eventually. We got two more little cherry tomatoes over here. Yeah, I might be able to harvest a couple of those. But holy, look. 
Oh my gosh, these are the yellow beans, the yellow bush beans. I got a bunch of beans. I didn't even go through and pick them off like I usually do. Oh my gosh, I'm going to see how many I got. Y'all, look at this. I got peas. Can you believe it? I'm going to go ahead and pick this. There's more coming on. Oh my gosh, I have not been paying attention to these at all. So, look at how unruly they're getting. Oh, this, this one is all the way over here on this corn. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I got pe Whoops, whoops. Oh, my back is killing me. I, I need to get something better to hold these up. Because these, they've outgrown all of this. I got a pee. <laughs> Every single one of my corn has tassels on it. Look at that. Look at how tall these are. Oh my gosh. Look at... All of them have tassels. And I've never grown corn before, but I noticed. Look at that. Does that mean I'm going to get corn? Is this the beginning of a corn? Look. There's one there. There's another one here. Oh, there's another one. I just pulled my back out. Over there. I don't know. I may get some corn. Oh no, what is that? Is that the top of a corn? Oh my gosh. I will laugh my you know what off if I actually get corn. These are getting pretty big. No squash on these plants yet. That's all right. I'm going to have plenty of squash. I've had to dust these uh, eggplant plants again, but I'm getting fruits. Oh, there's a fruit there. There's a couple small ones. There's another one there. There's some more in the back, so I'm going to get some eggplant. This one needs to be pulled back. And for the first time, this is a patty pan squash plant. It looks terrible right now. It'll, it'll perk back up, but let me show you. There is a patty pan squash. Here it is. Can you see that? That's patty pan squash. There's two more squash plants over here. They look terrible. Don't worry. They'll perk back up. I've got another squash, uh, patty pan squash right there. And I don't know. There may be more, but I can't bend over right now. So finally, the patty pan squash. I cannot wait to see how that grows. And this thing... They're little berries, but they're starting to ripen. Ooh, ooh, look at, look at that one right there. That's just about ready to go. This is my harvest for today. I wasn't even expecting to find anything, but I did. So I'll throw it all in a dinner. I don't know what I'm going to make. All I know is I'm roasting, so I'm going to go inside and cool off. Let's see how these are doing. I put it in the wagon so I can just wheel it around and point it towards the sun. Well... The tomatoes are done. Oh my gosh. These are done too. They're all done. I'm going to leave them out here for just a little bit longer so I can go in and cool off. And then come in and get them. I had to bring these little guys back in. They were just all flattened to the ground, panting. It was just too hot out there for them. So I brought them back inside and they bounced back. <laughs> To their, to their normal selves, so yeah, when it's this hot outside, I just can't, I can't put them out there. Gotta leave them inside. I did have just enough water to water all of my plants. Kind of good. Not very good, but tomorrow I'm going to need to get some water. So, the mushrooms, here they are. There's a few wild mushrooms, chanterelles, that I had previously dehydrated. I'm just mixing them all together. So, the mushrooms dehydrate pretty gosh darn quickly and I'm surprised you hear that that's a little tomato that I dehydrated it goes clink clink you know it's done yeah everything it just snaps it breaks so um, the mushrooms took about I would say three and a half hours about three and a half hours out there in the heat and the humidity is under 40 percent it's uh it might be between 40 and 50. it's not under 40 percent it's definitely below 50 so that helps a lot um that little solar thing that i made i don't think it's going to be uh, enough to 
like cook on. Um, the hottest that it would get was 184 degrees and that is not sustained. It's not sustainable. So I will uh, use it for a dehydrator. It works absolutely perfect for a dehydrator. Even just spreading it on the floor and then putting racks like I've got. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to be using the heck out of that solar. I'm going to just call it a solar dehydrator because that's what it is. Anyhow, I hurt my back. I'm in here uh, kind of like chilling out literally. So that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.